I started playing guitar when I was 15 years old. I actually got a late bloom. I started playing piano and trumpet when I was younger. Um, where I grew up in the part of Phoenix, we were actually really poor. And um, I started playing guitar, uh, I'll, I'll never forget the day, it was July 16th at 11.41 p.m. And I'm not gonna say the year because then that'll give away my age and I, I look pretty handsome right now. So I don't wanna give that up, no, I'm just kidding. But my mom actually, uh, she knew I wanted to get a guitar. My whole family was very musical, and uh, we saved and saved, and she got me a rant, because I was a Randy Rhodes fanatic, a Jackson fanatic, even on my first purchase, and what we got was this from Sears catalog. Now, I know a lot of you don't remember this here, but a long time ago, there was a catalog you used to get from Sears, and they had guitars in it. So it was $179 with the amp, but it was a Randy Rhodes copy, and I thought it was the best thing ever. And I got home um, from hanging out at a friend's house, and my mom had it lying on the couch for me. And that was the day, because I looked up at the clock, I tuned it as best as I could at the time, and I looked at the clock, and it was 11.41 p.m., and that's when I got started playing guitar. So um, I did get a late bloom on it, but for the rest of my years in high school, after that, I didn't get a single date. I didn't really have much of a social life because all I wanted to do was play guitar. I wanted to play blues, I wanted to play jazz, I wanted to play everything. Because when you're playing guitar, it's your time, all right? No, whenever you're sitting down with yourself, you don't need an amp, you don't need anything. But if you're sitting there strumming your guitar, and making a few notes and making it work for you, no government, no person, no anything can take that away from you. That is your moment. You have just created your own personal time, your own personal magic, and that is creativity. The only two things that transfer throughout any planet that you're in or any universe or any city, country, or world is music and math. Melody will always be melody, harmony will always be harmony, and two plus two will always be four. So those are the only two things that really translate. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a really beautiful thing. And I, I, I advocate it. If you want to learn blues, learn it. If you want to play metal, still learn the blues. If you want to play death metal or black metal, still learn it all. Because there's going to be a day when you want to sit back in your room or sit on the, you know, sit on the couch watching TV and playing music, and you want to create a mood for yourself, but you're not sure how to get there, learn it all. Because remember, when the great composers came out hundreds of years ago with what we now know as classical music, they did not know music theory because it did not exist. They did what they wanted for the sake of melody, to create their own moment. Music theory was created afterwards as a science to figure out what they were doing. That's all it is. It's a great tool. It's a great thing to use as a guideline, but it is not law. Law is what you make it for music. It's your time.